Welcome to the Access Fee for Service Provider Training presentation, how to submit a prior authorization request. Getting started, what information do you need to complete your PA request? The Access Member ID, the Service Rendering Provider ID, the Begin and End Dates of Service, ICD-10 Diagnosis Code, CPT or HCPCS Code, the total units by each service, and modifiers if applicable. There are four steps to create and submit a fee-for-service PA request. Step one is the case search, step two, case list, step three, event list, and step four, activity list. Sign into the Access Online Provider Portal. Enter your username and password and click the Sign In tab. The Access Online Provider Portal main page will appear. Select the Prior Authorization Submission tab. This will direct you to the Welcome to the Fee for Service Prior Authorization web portal page. On the Welcome page, scroll down to the bottom of the page and select the tab Prior Authorization Submission. The PA recipient case search page will open. Complete the fields listed in the box below. The Search System box is defaulted to acute, no action required. Search by, click the down arrow, you have an option to select Access ID, Provider ID, or Case Number. The next field, Access ID Number, enter the Access Member Medicaid Number. The Service Provider ID field, click the drop-down and select the MPI or six-digit number for your authorization request. Next, enter the Begin Date of Service and then the End Date of Service and click the Search button. The case list page will open. If there are no case details that match your search criteria, the message no records found will appear. Click the Add New Case tab. The Enter Case Information box appears. There are only three fields to complete, the effective begin date, end date, and the description fields. After completing these fields, click the Next button. At the end of each step, the Verify Information page will present. On this page, you can make any corrections to the information entered. If the case information is correct, click the Submit button. If you need to correct an error, click the Edit button, make the correction, and then click the Update Submit button. Now let's move on to the next step, completing the event list. The PA case number has been created and appears at the bottom left of the page. Click on the PA case number to go to the next step to enter the event list information. The event list page opens. If there are no event details that match your criteria, the message no records found will appear. Select the add new event tab to enter the new event details. The enter event information page opens. The event type identifies the service type for the PA request. Click the down arrow and select the event type from the list. Next, complete the remaining fields. The requested begin and end dates and diagnosis code fields must be completed. Next, click the Next tab. On the event list page, you can also read notes entered by the PA team by clicking on the plus sign. Additional options include update and document attachments. Click on the sequence number to proceed to the final step to enter the activity list information. The Verify Event Information page will open. If the event information is correct, click the Submit button. If a correction is needed, click the Edit button, correct the fields, and then click the Update Submit button to accept the new changes. The Activity List page opens. If there are no activity details that match your criteria, the message No Records Found will appear. Select the Add New Activity tab to enter the activity information. On the Enter Activity Information screen, complete the fields listed in the box below. The activity type, activity code, modifier if applicable, allowed units, and the notes field. Enter any comments if applicable. Then select the Next button. The Verify Activity Information page opens. If the activity list information is correct, click the Submit button. If a correction is needed, click the Edit button, correct the fields, 
Next, click the Update Submit button to accept your new changes. Congratulations, your prior authorization is completed. The phrase, Transaction Succeeded, will appear indicating that a new activity list for the member was updated. The case number will appear under the activity list. If you want to add additional activities to the same event, you can add multiple activities by clicking Add New Activity Type. This concludes the presentation on how to submit a prior authorization request.